Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, we're going to completely remove a ringing phone from the background of some dialogue using the tools in Adobe Audition. So let's hop into Adobe Audition. And before I do, let me tell you, courses are open right now. If you want to learn on-demand courses, we can learn step-by-step -step in easy bite-sized videos. Go to mrc.fm forward slash learn. If you want to become an audio production pro, a podcast pro, or sound great on your live stream, I've got courses for that over at mrc.fm forward slash learn. Now over here, let's have a listen. And we are live. Emily has the sound. Okay, there's definitely a phone ringing away in the background there. Uh, now, the best way to be able to see that phone, because you can't really see where that phone is, it's somewhere around here. We are... We are and it's, it's definitely overlapping the speech as well, is by using Spectral Frequency Display, which is available up here. Uh, you can click the icon or hit Shift and D on your keyboard, and immediately in this heat map of frequencies, we can see right here that there's a phone tone. We are live. And we can even try and isolate it using the paintbrush tool, and I would just paint over those phone ringtones as kind of roughly as I can. Doesn't have to be super accurate, just so we get an idea of what that phone sounds like that we're trying to remove from the dialogue. Let's have a listen. There is the phone. That's the stuff we're trying to get rid of. Let's make it nice and loud. There it is. Okay. So in order to get rid of it, one of the best ways to do it is use the spot healing brush tool. Uh, with this tool, you can make it bigger or smaller using the curly brackets on your keyboard. So I can make it really tiny. I can also zoom a little bit closer into the audio that needs to be removed over here. So we can see here it is. And as accurately as I can now, I'm going to try and paint over that phone ringtone just like this and get rid of as much as I can. Now, it's definitely a job that needs steady and accurate hands to go through but believe me when you do this and you've actually isolated that ringtone with spot healing brush it's absolutely fantastic this tool is just amazing one of the best things about phone ringtones is they usually have uniform patterns they're usually like blocks like this on audio which are very easy to identify so doing that zap and we are live. And it's pretty much completely gone, hasn't it? It's amazing. Spot Healing Brush Tool can do that kind of stuff really easily. Uh, now, you can also see stuff up here in the high end. I might just make the Spot Healing Brush nice and big for this, and I can go a little more roughly. As I can see, it's not impacting the speech that ends around here, around the 7K and mark. And we are live. And we are live. And it's pretty much completely gone. If I wanted to be OCD with this ringtone and completely remove it, I would actually reduce this down, and I'd go along again, maybe with a bit of a fatter brush this time. Time, uh, just to try and get anything that I've missed and go along the pattern of that ringtone in my spectral frequency display view. And this is really going to help uh, any kind of ringtones or things going off in the background, phones going particularly. This is just going to heal it all up for you. And we are live. And let's just zoom out and play it back. And we are live. Emily has the sound. Okay, I'm just going to copy that for a second, just give you another example to a brand new audio file, paste it in there, because we'll come back to that in a second. I just want to undo this and put that ringtone back and show you what we had at the start. And we are live. And then I want to go to what we've got now after spot healing. And we are live. Pretty much completely gone. And if you want to take it to the next level, you can actually go into effects, you can go to amplitude and compression, dynamics, and you can start to set up something like a noise gate, uh, which is going to cut out any of the background noise indicated by these purple speckles when there is no speech. So again, and we are live. Emily has the sound. Okay, it's a little bit uh, too high the threshold there. We want to let more audio through, so I'm going to bring it down a bit. And we are live. Emily has the sound. And we are live. Emily has the sound. Apply it. Watch spectral frequency change to go completely black where there is no speech. That is really clean, clear speech with no ringtone. Let me know how you use this amazing tool in Adobe Audition in the comments down below.